Welcome back to the Ascend of the Dim Valley. We have just found our way into the Keeper's hideout, and I've just noticed I can't get back to that row. That's right, I'll be able to get a second one up there. So let's find out what the Keepers are doing here. Hello. Oh shit. Ah. Uh. This is not good. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's it's their tricks and traps again, is it? Not a word of his radical exegesis has convinced me. Dragon Mens has seen a torrent of bloodshed in our lifetime. It need not see another. Success in this regard will no more confirm the prophecies than failure. They speak nothing of these events, nor of his character. <sighs> hmm. So the leap of faith. Indiana Jones style. Of an enormous vertical pit of secret keeper doorways. How strange. So there's nothing in here but but that. How bizarre. Alright. Oh hang on. There's nothing in here but that. What's that open? Oh, that closed the hatch. Alright, it's not, not something extra. It's merely an alternate way to open and close this hatch here. Yeah. Guess he's down this way. Yep. <laughs> so where's he going? Whose place is this? And there's somebody else nearby too. I'm hearing is up that way, but well, you know what? I probably shouldn't leave the uh, keeper's secrets for everyone to find, right? Where was the switch? Keepers can keep a secret, then uh, so can I. Especially I don't want them to know that I've broken in and have been reading their, uh, their notes. Oh well. I don't know what it was. It was me! <laughs> it's always a little strange. And guards make settling sounds, but they never make their alert sounds. I still don't know what causes it, obviously. Safe public passage through the Vizier's upper mineshaft. Access via this private residence for a fee. Collect those fees, shall we? <laughs> Hello. Uh, what 
Where is this gonna take me? I don't know, but I guess I can get through. Safe public passage through the upper mine shafts. Well, I guess it's just a mine. You know, some valuables in it. Or maybe that's it. Behind this, no, for some reason, that's all there was. Okay, so who's I'm not convinced it's anything we should be worried about. The ore lights were installed months ago, and the valley hasn't suddenly become stricken with feeble workers or widespread disease. Add to that the past few years of ceasefire, and life seems better than it has in a long time. Whose purse would bear the brunt of electric infrastructure for the whole village? Mine? Or are you offering? Sure, the vizier is trying to carry favour with the people, but a conspiracy? Give me a break, Jalen. Hello? I'll take your ring. Right, we've read about Jalen being worried about the Vizier not using the lights that he sells, but only using electric light. Thinking that the glowstone lights must be harmful to health or something. Cease your investigation into the growth. Little bong. Ah. I like that, it's like, note stuck in the wall has been ripped off. Can you still see the rip on it? There's definitely... ...things going on here. Intrigues. <laughs> but so far, most of the intrigues are not pointing towards more loot for me, so maybe... <laughs> maybe I don't have reason to be overly bothered. We are almost to the top. Not sure how much higher we can get. Does he just does he not move or turn around or anything? What was that? This ain't right. Don't you really like that torch? I wasted a water arrow on it. But I'm glad it distracted you, that was good. So thank you for the distraction. No thanks for attempting to relight it. Hmm. I don't think I want to fall down there, although I might want to go down there. But not not fall. <laughs> It's a very awkward jump because that wall is so narrow that you can barely get the the forward momentum you need. This gate is just completely unprobable. Just not a thing. Which is very strange. It's not like it's locked, but the key is just doesn't move. Yeah, I do want to explore down that way, right? At some point. More guards. What the? This is a very strange place indeed. Very. 
very strange. What are these pipes? Cease investigation into the growth. Is this, is this the growth? Who's this, who's is this place? Because you know, we're above. Of course, this is the upper levels of of the Vizier's place, right? Don't want food. Want moss? Give. Hmm. Ah. What is going on here? So where are these guards? There's one. Okay, there's at least two more. Who is there? Ah! Oh, well, that was bad timing, wasn't it? See, there's a little pirouette as he tried to walk past the wall. <clears throat> yeah. I was not expecting the pirouette. Uh, it, uh... <sighs> Definitely caught me by surprise. And, uh,. Put me by his sword as well. That's just a balcony beach already. Is there something there? No, it's just texture. Was it down as well? <laughs> Strange throne room. There's the guards. I hear the footsteps, I couldn't see them. Still another one somewhere, but uh, going down or going up gives me more insight into what's going on. I guess it depends on whether the mystery is deep or whether it's tall. This says we can't leave the green room. Says we die. Don't want to leave anyway. All the moss I want is here. So what happens if I feed these guards moss? I guess I won't know just yet. What down here? Ruth Glumlubla. Oh. Hello. Aha. So this is more of the Vizier's mansion, because that's his dining room there. Okay. Good to know. Let's leave that open. Nice ribcage just chilling here. You know? Not weird, not creepy. Ah, this is the song we saw about accessing the uppermost floors will result in death without the vizier in attendance. Well, it resulted in knockouts, it hasn't resulted in. Oh, I guess it did result in my death earlier, but that's not, I think, what he means. Alright, so there is one more guard knocking about. 
Well, at least one. It's that way it goes, it's this way. Hello. You know what? <clears throat> Let's feed him some moss and see what happens. Let's not waste it then. I suppose I got four, it's not, doesn't really matter, I didn't need to reload. I thought I had like two. Could have barely used any. I certainly could have used them. Alright. What's going on in this room? Not a whole lot, just... Another glowstone lighting the place up. I don't suppose I can frog that glowstone, right? <laughs> okay, so I came in that way, so... Door that doesn't open. More footsteps. I am just so lost in here. More weird, creepy statue faces. Just completely turned about. And the people up above me get all the light and get all the fears, and I don't have another thing to eat in days. Yeah, but what about the people down below you, like me? Once I defiled these mountains for plunder, defiled silver and gold in my yawning, monstrous domain. The compulsion I feel to bore ever deeper, to uncover more of this sublime wisdom. It is only matched my by my desire, my urge, my growing need to bring light and life. Once more to flourish and overflow this dim valley with its warmth, to banish the depraved magic forever. I would, oh how I would, take every chance to hasten it, every branch of ivory, every clump of moss foretells his glorious return. So somebody's got some tricks to fever. Alright, we're up above the pipe room now. Hmm. We do need to get up there where he is, but I need to. The people up above me get all the light and get all the fears and the thing to eat in the I'll take more marks. <laughs> where was that wood where was that wooden I just thought, here we are. What being here? Oh, this just goes up there anyway. Who needs who needs a rope arrow? I hear two sets of feet now. When are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want to know. When are they going to bring me my dinner? What the? Well, when they're going to bring you dinner is a good question. Oh, it goes higher still. Okay. 
like it's so tiny and narrow it barely feels like a so it's even possible to get there let alone that it's the primary staircase for this place but, uh, it's fine i guess still goes higher it's not a locked door <laughs> Where's the other guard? There he is. Maybe that's not a guard, maybe that is uh, the Duke or dude himself. All is still. Viziers, oh, sorry, Vizier. Viziers, Inner Sanctum. Yes, it's Vizier, Il Terran himself. We have the key now to his Inner Sanctum. <laughs> which is, I'm not sure where. Oh, this is just a stairway. Yes, okay. More skulls. He likes he likes skulls, this guy. Is that outdoors? Have I been out there? Don't think I have, right? Oh no, that's how I got in here. I'm just I'm a fool. That must be his inner sanctum. I guess this is where he used to keep the skull of Mott, most likely. Oh, this is not... Hello. Amethyst. Ah, yeah, 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 I've read, read, read it already. There's two copies of the Amethyst, I don't need both. Well, you know, I could destroy all records of it. You go burn that. Man, look at this, look at this, like, uh, what do you call it? Phyllis? It's a lot of brushwork and cells, to be honest I mean, actually, it's pretty straightforward brushwork. Pretty cool. Okay, it's... This is in a sanctum. Another key that doesn't disappear. So this must be where he keeps the iron facade that I came here for. Hello. Um <laughs> Upside down loot, sure. I guess he's a trickster fan. Right, I've been here and seen this door, but I couldn't open it from the outside. Oh, it's his bed. He has a hip and spine and skull there and a glowing one that uh has. -huh. That's where the skull mark comes from. Matching the glowy the glowiness. The glowing spine and hips. This guy has very bizarre taste, I will say. With the candlestick on the wall. It's got multiple candlesticks on the wall. Just a whole bunch of candlesticks chilling on the wall, you know, just as you do. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's take the facade. Uh, 
Uh, are you alright there? You have a strangely glowing eye that's now lighting up the entire room. I can see that emphasize was being quite useful. That's quite a creepy. Very good, I approve. Very good creepy effect. Let's hope it doesn't have any negative side effects for Garrett here. Because we have completed all our objectives. We have not yet been everywhere there's to be to go. Although, kind of mostly. We have completed all our objectives. So, unless there's another surprise in store. Hello. Oh, there was a surprise in store for that poor fellow. And this is another surprise in store for Garrett. Then... Did we come down this way? <laughs> I don't remember seeing that painting. This is just this walkway, yeah. We've been here. Well, we have not managed to rescue eyes with the kids, sadly. Oh, that's steps. Alright, this is the way back out. Good, good, good. Now, I do kind of want to see what's down there, but I don't know how to get there safely. This is not safe, I'm sure. Not safe at all. So let's try and get back across without dying. Try again to get back across without dying. Nope. Have to jump a little less far because we jumped that far. It's not good, but a little less far. Ah! A little more than that. The goal is to mantle on something and not just die constantly because the dying constantly is a little tedious. Good. That's a horrible jump. With with, it would be fine if these walls were you know a little thicker, like three. This is like three units thick. That'd be fine, you'd get a decent run, you can feel confident about it. Well, it's only one unit, it's just like... It's, it's just terrible. It's just really terrible. Alright. Down there, again. I don't know how to get down there again. I don't get in here. Oh, I see, we just come down. This is where we came up. That's right. Careful, Garrett. Pretty slippery. Okay, is there any value to being on here? Hello? That's value. That's certainly value. Right, that's why I want to drop down. Well, that's why I want to try and climb down. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's jump onto the ladder, shall we? Ah! Angled ladders, ladies and gents. Angled ladders. Don't ever use angled ladders. <laughs> Boss ain't bothered if there's heaps of silver and gold around these past years. Still wants all she can get. Now there's people out the valley who want it. Like me. Can I even get on this ladder to climb it? I can. Okay. There's a ledge there, which I don't have any way to get to. Where does this take me? Death. Death, death, death. You did have to put the little jutting out bit there, didn't you? I suppose I can kind of nudge around this, it's just... In theory. But 
one foot wide ledges are not really safely traversable. They're kind of okay for railings just a lot of the time, but even two feet, which is what this one I'm on is, is it's about the narrowest you should ever go. If you're on a one foot wide ledge, your feet are not properly on the uh, ground. Oh, we're here. Okay. Wait. Alright, so I've seen this place, but I've not been here. So I guess we need to descend the dim valley and get out. Sa hopefully safely. Ah! That's not safely. <laughs> so you think it's a new mantle you can mantle this, but I'm not actually standing on it, I'm just sliding. It's not good. It's not good for controllability. I feel like that's going to hurt me. Let's go this way instead. Well, this way didn't bleed anyway, did it? I definitely haven't got all the loot. I know I've missed something. <laughs> right, if I can, if I slide along this ledge. Let's do this jump again. Oh wait, I can drop onto this one. This one's okay. Alright. Alright. Here we are. Back where it all began. We have the iron facade, we have the skull of Mott. We have some keys which probably should be lost forever. No. Just to cause some consternation for the old people. Where's the exit from our cave? Right back to where we started. And we can then pick up our bedroll and head away head home. Well, our sack of loot. Our sack of belongings. And climbed all the way up and all the way back down again. I feel like it missed a bunch of stuff, but I'm not sure exactly how much. Less than 800. So not all that much altogether. There was lots of corners with loot. You know, where loot was, and many of them I only noticed by accident, so I thorough scouring. Definitely take a lot longer, but I didn't realize I'd found 5,000. I wasn't keeping note of the numbers. That's good. Like, uh, I have a bunch of issues with the construction of the mission, but overall, the general concept. Um, I love the concept of the construction, even though, even if the actual work is all extremely cramped. Um, the general concept is, is amazing. The Story setting is great, but I feel like it kind of... I mean, it's fine. It's just Garrett, Garrett breaks in and steals everything and goes away, right? It's, it, it doesn't affect Garrett in any way, and he doesn't affect it in any way, except probably things are going to uh, rise up in violence, because now the armistice is broken, and the Dim Valley will soon become the Red Valley. Whoops, Garrett. Good, good keeper work there. Uh, but otherwise, really solid mission. It's an excellent twist on the mansion heist. Um, and an extremely memorable layout. Not one to forget soon. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here uh, next time for the next mission.